Good evening, everyone. It is Monday, June 21st, 2021. Polka dot day 11. Vlog number 1541. Currently, I'm just starting uploading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm just having some cereal right now. This is um, Cocoa Puffs. And then I put some mac and cheese into my stove. So that it'll be done in like 47 more minutes. Um, I've been drinking water. I've been drinking this splash water. I'm so mad. It contains sugar. Freaking, ugh, why? why? I had a lollipop earlier. Um, that's because like I always like to have um, something to... Some, it's like it, it's known as an oral fixation where you just have to have something going on um, in your mouth. Um, I had a little bit of potato salad to eat. Um, and then, oh, and I had a little bit of leftover buffalo chicken stuffed crust cheese pizza earlier. My allergies are driving me crazy crazy it hurts <sighs> I cannot breathe they're still watery there's constantly drainage so there's always something built up here or back there in my nose and my my eye tears are always burning um anyway so that is that um it's currently 10 29 p.m i was mostly napping for the day uh, got up to eat, take my medicine, went back to bed, it rained earlier, I want to talk to my mom, my mom called me on WhatsApp, and as soon as, like, when she called me, there was, like, lightning outside of my house, it was bizarre, um, anyway, uh, I didn't talk to her for a little bit, and I went back to bed, now it's 10.30, um, I've been on YouTube for some of the day. I'm just watching this um, short video about this woman suffering with paranoid schizophrenia. I was talking to my mom. Sorry, no, this whole area is dark and it's gonna not be dark anymore. This is also dark. This is just acne, which needs to go away. Um, huh. Are you gonna sneeze? Phew, <laughs> God. Okay, um, anyways, um, she texted me a picture of her, and she looks just like what I look like right now, or what I, I'm like literally, I look the same as her when she was 19. So, that's my mom right there the second one from i guess my right um i don't think you can really see though um her face from like that close up but oh, fuck. anyways Looks just like damn me, man. There's also like some darkness like around my lips. Um, that is slowly, yuck. Slowly getting better, but my lips are like burning like all the time. They've always just been really dark. Um, my brother came over. I'm gonna drop off my medicine today. Um, so he did that. And I just showed my mom what a mess I am. Um, so I have all this crap that I have to clean up. Um, there's like cat throw up though, but that's not that bad. And I gotta clean up their litter, which is also something I have to do, but it's mostly just the cat puke that's everywhere. And there's also like some trash um, that I'm trying to get out, but it's like there's, there's rain outside and there's coronavirus outside and yeah so anyways my lips have been bothering me a lot i've been using carmex and i've been using this i guess it's a kai fusion lip balm 
with Shea Butter um, SPF 30 by Supergoop on top of the Carmex. Don't step on the keyboard. So in college, um, here's a little prelude to what I'm about to talk to you guys about. In college, I decided to challenge myself and take a class which I thought would be really, really easy because I'm I'm normally an overachiever. Like I'm a pre-med, like bio major, generally in college. Get off. So I decided to take something that would be really, really easy. Ornithology. Um, really stupid, stupid class. Um, I failed that class and it was like, it's my Boutros, Boutros golly moment. Anyway, I just thought I would tell you, I have to retake this class. It really was the stupidest class I've ever taken in my life. Mom's gonna watch this. She knows. She doesn't know that I made an F in it. Or whatever the hell I made in it. I think maybe it was a D. I doubt it, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure. From what I recall, this was a long time ago, though. So, um, yeah, sorry mom, you had to hear that on this. Um, but it's about time that you found out and, and we already talked about how I'm going back at some point to retake this course in South Carolina, <laughs> University of South Carolina. I was so disappointed, but also it kind of brought light to the fact that, um, I have my mind already pretty much made up and I'm kind of set in my ways in a sense like an old person um, you know so like I, I won't necessarily change that easily you know um, and I always okay so I always thought that like okay I only have a few more classes um, to get out of the way and then all the other stuff is just gonna be um, just um, electives that I have to take other than most of my prerequisites for med school um, were out of the way, you know. Um, like I had five, maybe five more, maybe like um, two more semesters literally of pre-med stuff and then all the other stuff was just going to be like, you know, electives and I don't know what else. Uh, just a way for you to get out of college in three years rather than four years or something um, but that was gonna be planned out later and then so I took this ornithology class <laughs> to like basically it was supposed to be like a fun class for me to be able to learn about fucking birds like I really like birds I don't want to constantly be stuck on one subject forever I want to learn about birds as well <laughs> Um, and I tried doing that, that's why I took the class, but I, it didn't, it did not fare out well for me. Um, I don't know why that is, I think it's probably just bad luck, uh, for me, but, um, anyways, I mean, I'd have to go all the way back to, like, SC and, uh, retake that course. To replace the grade that I have in it um, so that I can have like a, a decent GPA otherwise there's literally no way that I could go straight into medical school once I get my bachelor's degree so yeah um, and you can make fun of me all of you all you want you know saying that I'm 32 and I'm talking about doing my bachelor's degree honestly I think um, the choices that are made thus far um, are circumstantial so anyways so yeah um, and it also proves that you really can't have fun ever in college um, other than like just completely flunking out and partying and going to some like party school and going completely nuts over the workload. 
Um, but I still have this book. It's really, really stupid. Like, why the hell would you want? <laughs> when I actually started taking this class, I immediately thought, like I told myself I should really, really drop it because I immediately was like, this is so, so stupid compared to what I should should have been taking. <laughs> Studying the human body, not some bone and feathers, honestly. Um, and stuff. Uh, yeah. It was not what I thought it was going to be. I was like, fuck it. I'm paying for it, so let's see. But, um... It was just a complete waste of time and once I had kind of enrolled in it, I really liked my professor and I was kind of like interested in learning about him. Um, but that was pointless too because <laughs> before I knew it, the end of the semester had already rolled around and he like was not very interesting at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Because the whole time I was sitting in the class, like every time I had to, like I would have to make myself go to lecture because like it was so stupid and useless pointless. Um, and like just attempt to even give a shit about passing the class. Um, <laughs> every time I would go in there, I was so rude to him. Every time I would go in there, I'd be like, what the hell would drive someone to learn, to want to learn about birds? Um, yeah. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys on the next vlog. This is sort of like my cheat day meal.